leadership, a word that carries immense responsibility. But what does the Bible, one of the world's oldest and most revered texts, say about it? This divine book is not just a spiritual guide, but it also offers profound insights into the art of leadership. It presents a myriad of lessons and principles that can help shape an effective, compassionate, and wise leader. From the shepherd's heart to the servant's humility, it beautifully illustrates the essence of true leadership. Throughout its pages, the Bible offers numerous lessons and principles on leadership. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 23, 1. This verse from the book of Psalms encapsulates the first principle of biblical leadership, the heart of a leader. In biblical times, shepherds were responsible for guiding, protecting, and caring for their flocks. Similarly, a leader's role is not about wielding authority, but about serving and caring for those who follow them. The second principle of leadership, as highlighted in the Bible, is humility. There's a powerful scene in John 13, 5, 17, where Jesus, despite being the teacher and leader, washes the feet of his disciples. This act of humility underscores that true leaders do not elevate themselves, but instead lift others up. Just like Solomon, who when offered anything he desired, chose wisdom above all else, leaders must recognize the importance of wisdom and understanding. The book of Proverbs is filled with advice and insights on leadership that are rooted in wisdom and understanding. In the book of Daniel, we find the fourth leadership principle, leading with integrity. Daniel, despite being in a position of power, refuses to compromise his beliefs. This teaches us that a leader's strength lies not in their title or power, but in their moral character. The fifth principle revolves around building and guiding teams. In Exodus 18, Moses is advised to appoint leaders for different groups of people. This principle reminds us that great leaders understand the value of teamwork and the strengths of their team members. Courage in adversity is the sixth leadership principle. The book of Esther recounts the story of a queen who stands up for what is right, even when faced with danger. This is a call for leaders to be brave and steadfast in the face of adversity. The seventh principle encourages consultation and seeking counsel. Proverbs 15.22 says, Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. This reminds leaders of the importance of listening and considering the wisdom of others. Finally, the eighth principle is about leading by example. Just as Paul was a model to his followers, leaders today should embody the values and behaviors they hope to inspire in others. As Paul was a model to his followers, leaders today should embody the values and behaviors they hope to inspire in others. True leadership, as portrayed in the Bible, is about service, humility, wisdom, and righteousness. It's about leading with a shepherd's heart, embodying humility, championing wisdom, standing firm in integrity, fostering teamwork, demonstrating courage, seeking counsel, and setting an example. It's about uplifting those around us and creating a ripple effect of positive change. Let's strive to lead as the Bible teaches, transforming our communities and the world. If this exploration sparked your curiosity, please like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Remember, knowledge is power, and the journey of understanding is just beginning. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep growing. Until next time, stay stoic, stay wise, and stay resilient.